Okay, now here we are with Meb, our um, level 1 Breton, so Breton Conjurer, and we're in Riften, and this is the fourth episode in our series to kill Karstag. Okay, so at the minute we're, uh, we left off, we're carrying out the last part, third part of the Book of Love quest in order to get... Um, the lovely book of um, Agent of Mara ability, magic resistance. So here, we, that means for this part of the quest, we have got to go to somewhere in the middle west of Sky, west of White Run. So we're going to go, go to White Run Stables, and we're going to ride out there. Okay, and we're going to finish off Book of Love. So let's first of all move to the safe, uh, fast travel to White Run Stables, where we can pick up our horse. the horse and let's go now and just ride west it's actually a place called Geikers Monument it's an old it's a very ancient monument to a lost battle Western Watchtower. There's a fort inhabited by bandits in front of us. We'll run close up to that just to put it on our map. Travel on travel map. Make the state of it. Fort Graymer. And yeah, it's nearly as big. It's nearly as good. The walls are nearly as good, or probably as good as the walls of White One, to be honest. Anyway, we oh, there's wolves. Don't want, don't want to fight anybody, really. This is wrong with it. Let's keep going. I usually go farther left than this, so this is a new path for me. Oh. oh my goodness, that's unusual. Uh, Imperials, Imperials fighting um, Stormcloaks. Normally you don't see that. You hardly ever see them meet the patrols meeting them. And it's 50 50, is it? So that's 3 against 2. I can easily consume that. No, it's just. So I like to do it that way. Now, straight in front of us is a, sleep, is a giant camp called Sleeping Tree Camp. There's a little tree there which gives you a magic potion. So I always get it. You just have to get in and out quickly. The bad. The, the, the giants don't mind if you move fast. Oh, well, they seem to be a bit fussier than usual this time. Oh. Oh, they're, oh, they're a bit crankier than this time. But don't worry, we can get away. We can outrun them, thankfully, being on horseback. And giants are not very aggressive, they won't follow you for long. Not like pesky wolves and bears. What? Some more wolves? Minor nuisance. See, there, that big tall statue straight ahead of us is Geikers Monument. That's our destination. And but long before we get there, the wolves will have given up. Don't worry. And you can see there now, there's a ghost.
see what he is. See, buying Fenrig. And here's where we are. See, we're here. Fenrig is over here, behind the castle. Now I can just, actually, last time I did this, I rode there, but I can just go back to go for Great Bear and run the other way. So let's do that the quickest way possible. Go to Fort Green, uh, fast travel to Fort Greymere, pick up my horse and ride over. Nice and quickie. It's just around the corner. Hey, come on. Go, pa. Just up this road here. Bloody wolves. Let's bring them towards the mammoths and see how they like the mammoths and how the mammoths like them. See how well that works out. So if anyone bring the wolves near Fenrig, the ghost is here. Because that just it agitates them and starts fighting. Now, Henrik, your wife is looking for you. We're, we're expected to fight them tomorrow. If she's come this far from home, it must be Okay, I'm just going to see the just report that uh, fast travel back to Geiger Monument. And Ricky comes with me because he's my and there we go. There are the two lovers together. Now this is the important part here. Once we go back to Tinga Dalu, this is where we maximize our, our character. Once we go back to Tinga Dalu, see, see, we turn to Tinga Dalu. Once we go back to Tinga Dalu, we will pick up a, re a request reward, which is Agent Damara, and I think it's a 15% increase in our magic resistance, which on top of our breadth and 25% is pretty nice. But Here's the thing, my character is a vampire, and if I get a certain helmet, it's called the Bloodhorn Helm. The Bloodhorn Helm multiplies magic effects on dead against the undead by 25%. And if you wear it on yourself and you're a vampire, it increases all enchantments on you by 25%. So, what I want to do is get the Bloodhorn Helm before I pick up the Blessing of Agent Amara because that would be increased permanently by 25% if I have the helm on when I take it. So I will get another 18.75% magic resistance instead of 15. So what I need to do is just take my, my load of goodies. I need to get the Bloodworm Helm now, okay? So I'm going to go get the Bloodworm Helm. And it's a nice easy get. The Bloodworm Helm is up here in a place called Gallows Hall near this lake near Windham. So I need to go to Windham, ride my horse there and pick up that um, pick up that helm and then go down to Rifkin and pick up my my, my magic my magic reward. I get it boosted. So that's what we're going to do next. <laughs> 